name is Amelia Zietlow. I graduated in the spring from Carthage College in Kenosha, Wisconsin, and I'm currently a PhD student in comparative biology at the Richard Gilder Graduate School at the American Museum of Natural History in New York City. My research is on the ontogeny of Tylosaurus. Tylosaurus is a kind of mosasaur. Um, if you're not familiar with them, like imagine something like a Komodo dragon, except it's the size of a school bus with an extra joint in the lower jaw and an extra row of teeth on the roof of their mouth. So they're pretty cool. Uh, they lived alongside the dinosaurs at the end of the Cretaceous and they went extinct with them with the asteroid impact. Um, so what I did specifically was I looked at how the bones in the skull changed as they matured. And I did this using cladistic analysis of growth. Um, because growth, like evolution, consists of a hierarchical series of changes, the same method that we usually use to recover phylogenetic trees can be used to recover um, ontogenetic signal. So uh, what I did was I visited, like I think it was five museums across North America and studied I think 50 of them myself, uh, 79 total. So the other ones came from the literature and photographs and stuff. And I recovered growth series for two taxa, Tylosaurus proriger and then Tylosaurus napilicus and Kansasensis. Um, previously, it's been hypothesized that Kansasensis and napilicus, because they lived at the same time at, in the same place, and Kansasensis tend to be smaller than napilicus, that they're a single species and Kansasensis are juveniles. So by running this analysis and getting this, this growth series, I could actually test that objectively and quantitatively. Um, and so, yeah, what I found was that for ProRigor, the general changes to the skull are that they get, they get bigger, they get bigger and deeper and a lot of the like lumps and ridges and things on some of the bones develop. Um, and for Kansas census and the Pelicus, it looks like they are a single species. So what I would expect to see if they were different is that the diagram that I get, which is called an ontogram, it looks kind of like an evolutionary tree. Um, it would split into a clear group of Kansas census and the Pelicus, because if they're different species, then as they grow up, they'll be changing a little bit differently and the analysis will recover that. Um, but that's not what I saw. What I saw was most of the Kansas census were recovered as less mature than most of the Pelicus. So that supports that hypothesis that they, they're a single species. <laughs> 